I got a 2021 Cadillac Escalade with all the bells and whistles. I'm going to give you an overview on all the buttons. Just a quick overview so you kind of know what you're working with and um, try to explain them as best I can. So first, we'll just start out on the driver's side door. So this switch right here is the ventilator switch. So if you press this, it's gonna pull air or push air through the seats. So if you're sweaty or something like that, that'll help you cool down a lot faster. This right here, heated seats for both the bottom and the seat back area. And again, you can turn it on or higher and lower. And then this is just for the seat back. This is the unlock, this is the lock. Um, this right here, if you wanna change your mirrors, you just press one of these and then move it around or press that one for the right side. Um, this is the lock for the window switch. This right here, if you press it, it's gonna retract your side view mirrors. Um, all of the window switches are automatic. So this button right here, um, that's the seat position when getting out of the vehicle. So you can set that as well in this one, two settings, and that's the set button. Okay, coming over here, um, we have auto for your transfer case. These are all transfer case settings. Uh, two wheel drive high, four wheel drive high. Um, use this if you're going up a hill, slippery hill. This right here changes your drive mode change it to tour, smoke, sport, off-road, or tow haul. This right here um, lowers your suspension and this raises your suspension. So you can just keep pressing it until, you know, wherever you want it to go. This is your electronic parking brake. This right here is your trailer brake. So you can set that however you want um, just by pressing these and that changes the gain. This controls the interior lights, brightness, just like that. And so you have all of that figured out. Now these heads up display controls, um, you can just see that zero miles an hour right on that GMC tail light. So if I press the height you can control where it goes, the brightness, you can change the brightness. And then you can also change the gauge for a map, or if you wanna do the AR camera, you can do that as well. And then go from here, and uh, that's your trip settings. You just hold the trip down to reset it. So that's how you do it. And then if you want to put the gauge, um, have it be a regular cluster, you can do that as well just by putting it to gauge. So now we're going to do the steering wheel settings. Um, this right here all controls the radio. So you can scroll through the channels like this. Um, by pressing this, you can scroll through AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth. So the Um, this one controls the phone. If you press it, um, you can go to recent calls and uh, kind of control your phone through that. This right here, that'll scan or it'll scan to the next station. And then this will mute it. This will volume down. This will volume up. So those are all pretty easy to figure out. And then obviously we do have the paddle shifting right here. Then over to here, we have the heated steering wheel button. This button right here is how you adjust the gap. So when you're doing the cruise control, if you want to get closer to a vehicle or further away, you just press this. And then this controls the cruise control. So if I press this, that means cruise control is on. If I press it, it's off. And then you can speed up by going up or slow down by going down and you set it by going down and you resume by going up and these right here this is the lane assist if you press it it's going to say super cruise 
um, adaptive cruise control. So that's what this does. Obviously we're not going anywhere. We're standing still so it doesn't work. This is the conversation enhancement mode. You can turn it on or off. This right here is your speech session. If you press it, you can. it's kind of like Hey Siri, but with your Cadillac instead. So that's what that button is right here. We're gonna do the climate control now. To turn it on, press this button, auto. Just the setting for the, the vents. This is the front vent. This is the feet. This right here up or down controls the temperature this controls the fan setting uh, if we want it in auto we'll just press auto the temperature for the passenger side this is the defroster vent this is the defrost for rear um, ac this controls if you want the air recirculated or not and if you want to sync both the driver and passenger side just press that if it is amber then it is synced Okay, now we're gonna go to the radio, the information center, whatever you wanna call it. So it is touch screen, so you can just touch where you want. Or they have um, this, this area right here to control it. So this controls the, the volume. This right here, if you press it, it's gonna go to the radio section. This right here, the phone button, if you press it, it's gonna to go to the phone section and you can connect your phone and uh, do Apple CarPlay and Android um, audio with that. This button right here um, will take you to the map section. This right here takes you to the vehicle information center. So if you need to reset your oil life or do anything like that, and then you can just scroll through these with this. So this right here is the back button, and then this button right here is the home button. And if you press down on this, that's also the enter button. And then this is your hazard lights. Just press it and your hazard lights go on. And now we're gonna go up to the overhead console. You got your OnStar, you got call OnStar, you got your SOS button. Um, this right here controls your the cover for your sunroof so you can close it you can open it this will control your sunroof the glass parts so you can slide it back or forwards this lets your sunroof tilt this right here controls your hatch your back hatch so you can control how high it'll go and if it's turned off or not this controls your back seats Right now, I'll do the other one, and it goes straight down. That one is hitting on something. Um, this um, this is your home link right here. This is to control your motion sensor. If you press it, it's going to say motion sensor on, motion sensor off. Okay, so these aren't really buttons, but we do have, and you can turn this on by just pressing that, you can turn it off. Here is um, two different ports, an SD card port, again, USB port, and another USB port. This right here, this button, is your lane assist. So when you're driving on the freeway, you can press that and your lane assist starts to work. This is just a blank button. Automatic hold, um, when you are driving and stop and go traffic, you can press this and when you come to a stop, you don't have to hold the brake down so you can take your foot off the brake. So that's what the automatic hold button is for. And then this button right here, um, if you're parked, you can press it and it'll go right to park. If you go to reverse, you just press park and it'll go straight to park. And again, to shift, you have to hold this button down you can't just press it it's not going to go anywhere you actually have to hold the button down and go like that so we're going to go back okay so here's kind of a cool thing with this rear view mirror hold this down it's going to turn to the rear view mirror camera so if you want to go through the menu you're going to press this and you can go um, brighter dimmer and then you can zoom in zoom out 
You can move it up and down. I think that's the only things you can do. So if you don't like this, you can just go back and it goes back to how it was before. So kind of a cool feature. It's probably one of the things that I like the most on this.